case that you guys know, I'm Liz Wadman. And instead of a vlog this week, I decided that I'm gonna show you what I've been working on for my Liz Wadman creativity stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen, if you follow me on Facebook, that I uh, recently created a website called lizwadmancreativity.com. And on there you can find my blogs, you can find some of my photography, my vlogs, <laughs> like here, there's a link to these. But then I also have two stores. So my two stores, one of them you guys have seen on my Facebook, is called the Good Vibes Store. It's a bunch of like just like merchandise that I created. This is actually one of the things. It's the Flower Vibe shirt. The back of it has my big flower logo on the back. <laughs> my trusty assistant Sadie is here with me. <laughs> but I've designed a bunch of shirts and like the main line that I originally designed was all Good Vibes stuff. So it said like Good Vibes or Good Vibes only, things like that. So that's why I named it the Good Vibes store. But I've also been working on my own stuff, my own handmade stuff. I have been knitting since I was in fourth grade. So when I was about nine or 10 years old. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I've been knitting since I was about nine or 10 years old. There was a lunchtime learners program at my elementary school. Yeah, you haven't heard the story, huh? <laughs> and I honestly just wanted to get out of the classroom for a little bit. So after I finished eating my lunch, like I think like once a week, I got to go to the gym and I learned how to knit from some very nice Older women, we'll call them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're from my town's like senior society or whatever it is. I, I'm not really sure. Someone from Dadham will probably uh, correct me on this. But I dropped it for, or I did it for a while and then I dropped it for a little bit just because I thought it wasn't cool to knit and everything. But then when I got pregnant with this little girl right here, part of my like nesting urge was to start knitting again because I wanted to make things for her um, and that she could have forever. So I knit her a scarf, this blanket in the background right here where my hand is. So there we go, right here. I knit that. It's massive. You guys have probably seen that on Facebook as well. But I've also been knitting a bunch of other stuff. I have a whole bag of it. <laughs> so you can get this bag too if you would like to. This one was kind of a mess up but I corrected it and fixed it. A Liz Wobbin creativity bag, a little tote bag. As you can see here, the logo kind of printed twice, but I fixed it. It's not just the black logo, so you can see it. <laughs> so yeah, I have this little bag full of all my goodies, full of all the stuff that I've made recently. Do you think we should show them? Show them what's going to be on sale? Alright, cool. <laughs> so first, I just finished editing this last night, so this is the most recent thing that I've made. It's a little beanie. I'm calling it like the foliage beanie just because the colors. This is how it fits on my head, as you can see. <laughs> so this one is really comfortable. It's kind of thin yarn. I'll hold it closer to the camera. So that's the bottom, middle, and then we have the top. Just to get you, to see how it looks. So it fits pretty good on my head, so I think it would be like an adult size. But I feel like if you just kind of did this with the rim, it could be kind of a kitty one. I am making smaller ones. I'm in the process of making one for her, but also just smaller ones in general so I can sell some kid beanies as well because everyone needs a beanie. I also, on the website, you can already find a bunch of these. I mistakenly, a couple months ago, thought that I bought a ton of balls of yarn for a really good price and I was like, wow, this is a steal off of Amazon. This is great. This will keep me busy for a while. And then the balls of yarn ended up being about yay big. <laughs> they were tiny. <laughs> But I put them to use and I made a bunch of coasters. So this is one of them. It's like purple and teal. This one is like orange and teal. This one's blue and white. They're all kind of like that square shape. We got blue and yellow, a light blue. Like I call it baby blue, baby yellow. These are both very light and like pastel-y. This one is grayish purple um, and light blue. This one's gray and green. Yeah, you like that one, huh? Uh, this one is just black and white. This one is baby pink and baby yellow. This one is orange and pink. This one's like a tannish goldish color and um, a darker tealish blue. And then this one is just, I gotta trim it up a little bit apparently. <laughs> 
This one's just two different shades of brown. It's like gold and like tannish brown. So those are all the coasters that I made and I actually do use them around the apartment. Jeff uses them as well and they work really well. This summer they worked really well to like soak in all the condensation off of cups when the ice was like melting and stuff. It just kind of all soaks it in and doesn't really go underneath because I use two different kinds of yarns per coaster. Just to kind of like double, like even if I pull it apart, you can't see through it that much. So it just kind of sucks it all in, which is great. It works really well. Those are just the ones that I have completed, but I still have probably over 50 balls of yarn. So if you would like me to make you one with like custom colors, you can just put that in the description. I do have a custom coaster option on the site. All of these links will be down below, by the way. <laughs> really? You can tell me what colors you would like, and I will get the closest to it, because obviously, it's kind of hard to tell you every single color that I have, but that's a pretty good start to all the colors that I have. They're pretty much the rainbow. So I also made a scarf. So it starts like this. It's about this long. It's about blue, gray, silver, and pink. It could fit on an adult. It's kind of small, so it could be a kid one too, because obviously you know kids need scarves. Yeah, do you like this one, Sadie? This one? <laughs> really? So this scarf is very soft too. The yarn's very soft and it's thick and will definitely keep you or a kid warm. So... <laughs> Excuse me. This one is definitely an adult sized scarf. It's like these colors, it's like ribbed. It's like when you pull it apart, you can kind of see the pattern a little bit more. But it is very long, which I love. I love long scarves. <laughs> Just good talk through the whole thing. So yeah, it's very long. When I'm sitting down, it hits like my legs. So this can be flipped over and it'll definitely keep you super warm if it ever gets cold, because here in New England, it hasn't been getting cold. Yeah. Uh, I do have more yarn like this one, but I can always get more if you do like this style or like the texture of it, but you might not like the colors, which I totally get, to each his own. That's the other thing. I have a whole bucket of yarn in my room. <laughs> I have a whole bucket of yarn in my room, and I need to get rid of most of it, so. I can show you, if you're interested in more scarves, I can do other colors and stuff as well. Um, here is a, another very warm scarf. This one's very long too. So I don't know if you guys can see how soft this is, but like you feel it and it's just like so warm. Yeah, this is like a fuzzy, like dusty rose, I guess we could call it, scarf. All the measurements and stuff will be on the website as well. This one has a little bit of a tail. So once it's on the website, I'll have like the final length and everything. Oh my goodness. You don't like the moment's recording, huh? She's all set. And then this last one in here, I'm calling the Dunkin' Donuts scarf, and you will understand why in just a moment. Because it's Dunk's colors. It's like different shades of orange and pink. It's wicked cute. And it's another one that's really soft and really warm. This one is a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can actually see. So again, it could be yours. I mean, this could be a good one for uh, your daughter. Just so it doesn't look totally weird. I mean, once you're bundled up anyways, who cares? This could be nice and soft around your neck. Nice and warm too. It's wicked comfy. So that's all I have finished so far. I am working on so many more things right now. I'm working on more hats, like more beanies. I have another one for Jeff that I finished. This is actually the very first one that I finished and he loved it so much that he said, this is mine, I'm claiming it. But I can make more beanies. Beanies don't take me that long, surprisingly. Neither do scarves. I am working on a couple more scarves though. One is like a black, black, purple, and really bright green color. I'm really excited about that one. It's very like Frankenstein, Beetlejuice kind of colors. Another one that I'm working on, I'm working on like a gold colored headband. And that will be posted in the store as soon as it's done as well. I am constantly knitting more things just because it's been nice and relaxing and she keeps letting me do it. <laughs> 
She's very easy baby, as you can kind of see. Please, please go to LizWadmanCreativity.com. Look through the whole Liz Wadman Creativity store. Look through the whole Good Vibes store. There is a 10% off coupon if you subscribe to my email. There's places all over the website that you can do that. I mean, coming up soon, I am going to be doing more sales and stuff. Each of these coasters that I showed you, they're all $5 each. I haven't priced the scarves and hats yet, but I will. <laughs> You'll find them on the website. Again, they'll make great Christmas presents. I saw a post online that said, instead of buying things for people, shop at small businesses. Because obviously with the whole pandemic, small businesses have been hurt more than probably any other industry. Obviously people could probably argue me on that, but it's fine. So maybe instead of getting something for me for Christmas, you can buy something from my shop or anyone else's shops. I've seen a lot of people on my Facebook hustle and making all these things out of their crafts and stuff and I've been trying to support all of them as much as I can so hopefully you can too if you see someone on your Facebook pro, pro, um, feed profile that is running their own business whether it's selling something like these knit goods that I'm making um, I've seen one person do like resin art stuff and it's wicked cool I know someone else I ordered from their Etsy store scroll through your Facebook take a couple extra minutes I know you're on Facebook anyways. <laughs> Scroll through your Facebook, find someone with a small business for things that they're making themselves, and maybe instead of getting them something for Christmas, buy something from their store, because that supports them just as much, and it's almost kind of a better gift, if, in my opinion. If not, try and get them, like buy a gift card from their store so that someone else can buy from their store, or even just share posts about their stores, because small businesses are very important, especially like homemade businesses, like this one that I'm starting. Basically everything that I've been doing, all this knitting, creating the t-shirts, the bags, there's face masks on the store, there's a whole bunch of stuff. All the stuff that I'm creating, all of the money is going to this little gremlin right here. I know you can kind of see. Every single cent I make is going towards her because obviously she's my number one priority now. Ready for this? Out cold. <laughs> But like I said, my, she's my number one priority now. So everything that I've been doing, all the hustling I've been doing is for her. If you wanna help me support her, buy something from the store. If not, please just share links. Um, you can follow my Facebook page, Liz Wadman Creativity. Keeping it very simple, keeping it all the same name. You can follow me on Instagram at that name, my Facebook, my website, everything is Liz Wadman Creativity. Sharing is free, like sharing posts is free. It doesn't cost you anything. It just costs you about five seconds of your time by hitting that share button. You can also like this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel just to show me that you're still following and everything. But it also will give you an alert for as soon as I post a uh, video, it'll alert you that I did that. So subscribe to this channel so you know as soon as I post a video, most of them, as I'm sure you've seen, are all of this one, this little cute love bug. But I will post more videos like this every time I have new stuff coming to the store. I'll do like a little reveal or kind of video like this, just showing you all the products I've been working on. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, feedback, anything, please send it my way. Send it to me on Instagram, Facebook. My Twitter is Liz Wadam. <laughs> Again, everything is down in the description. Contact me in any way if you would like something, if you um, would like something kind of custom. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching all of the vlogs so far. Thank you for reading my blog posts. Thank you for following me on Facebook, following me this far, supporting me. And yeah, be sure to check out the store down below in the LizWalmanCreativity.com website. Be sure to subscribe so you get your 10% off coupon. And I think that's finally it. I think that's all I have to say. Thanks guys. Also, do not mind this background. I am in Sadie's room because it's the only room that I have. Plenty of room to do stuff without showing how disastrous this place is, but also because Jeff's working, so I don't want to interrupt him. Mm -hmm.